Hello everybody and welcome back to Hardcore, where last week we built ourselves a Wither Skeleton Farm, we built ourselves a Raid Farm, and we also built ourselves a Mob Switch. However, this week we've got a much bigger project coming up and we're going to need to gather a lot, 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 a lot of sand, because I have a project. I want to tackle an ocean monument. I want to do one of those cliche mega builds that everybody does on hardcore with a bit of a twist. I have to do it. Everyone does it. There's a reason for that. But I just want to do it a little bit differently. So I'm going to go get a little bunch of sand and we're going to go tackle this ocean monument. And now that I've got myself 12 shulker boxes full of sand, and I've even got a few more which are smelting in here, because I need lots and lots of glass as well. But now that I've got 12 shulker boxes full of sand, let's go to the ocean monument and let us now mark out the huge perimeter. We will be filling in, unfilling, draining, we'll be draining that one. Now that the perimeter has been outlined, I need to get some TNT. I need to get into the ocean monument. I need to slay the guardians, the elder guardians of that. Once I've slayed the elder guardians, I can acquire myself some sponges. Yes, sponges. Now that we've got the perimeter up and I have got a lot of sand, I'm going to now put up... Uh, oh, graceful. And now I'm going to put up all of the light blue glass I have. I'm going to need a lot more. I'm going to need a lot, a lot more. But for now, I'm going to put up what I have. This is not good. That was like an, uh, that was like a shulker box of glass. Oh no! I'm going to need so much, so much glass because I'm out. Yeah. I thought I was going to get a little bit more done than that. Uh, nope. Um. Well. I guess some of these, not this one, because there's got nothing in it. I guess some of these are going to have to be um, smelter-relted up. It's going to take a while. I've also got to get rid of all of this kelp. Not from up here. It's fine where it is here. It's when it's down there. That's the problem because that's going to make it really hard for the sand. So, go away! So, I've got a lot of kelp to remove. A lot of glass to smelt in place. And then a lot of sand to fill. I'm underestimating how many resources I'm going to require. So, roughly 240 stacks of light blue stained glass, lovely glass, lovely stained glass, and which is about eight and a half shulker boxes. I really didn't think it was that much. I've gone through a lot of glass, a lot of smelting. It took a lot of days, but 
yes, like I said, about 240 stacks of glass have now been placed around the entire perimeter where I now need to fill in all of the sand. And all the sand I have left after smelting is this. Definitely going to need more sand, but for now, I guess we're going to start placing this sand. I've already cleared all of the kelp from underneath. I did all of this while I was waiting for glass to smelt. And it really takes a while to render. Such a big area. Anyway, this, this is going to be the biggest nightmare. And no, I do not believe it will take 50 days. I believe it will take 49. Let's get cracking. have it is done is done mostly except for the removing of the hills terrain wise and also some small water pockets and underneath here so a little bit more to go let's keep going and um finish it off finish it finish it off and now with all of the water gone, I now need to get rid of all the terrain. So I've got some blocks for beacons. I think I've got some more down here. Do I have... Yeah, I have some, some more beacon blocks. And I'm gonna build some beacons and Start getting rid of some of this terrain and bringing it down to, well, I reckon this level. This is a good level. What level is this? Is this 31? Maybe 32. Maybe we'll bring it down to 32. 32 is an even number. And that is going to just about wrap it up for this episode. Finally, it is a long one. It is days 300 through to 700, which is quite, quite some time. But I wanted to make sure I got the ocean drained completely before I released the episode. And that took 350 days. It took a while. It took a long while. Once I had it done, I had about... Oh, was that day 670, 660, 660 I think it was. I, um, well, I figured I'd start doing the owl. 
the terraforming and getting rid of all of this. So that is all done as well. Well, I guess I've um, got a lot more draining to do. Not a lot of draining, a lot more digging. A lot more digging. So, for those of you who don't know, I have joined Twitch and I am streaming now. So, I will be streaming a lot of this grindy, grindy stuff that's not really worth putting into an episode because, let's be honest, this entire episode has just been one giant time lapse. That's it. So it's been one big time lapse. Um, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm doing a lot of it on Twitch now, just streaming. Just, just streaming a lot of what I'm doing. Um, but yes, hope you all enjoyed. This is, um, this is going to be epic. Hope you're all excited to see what's going to come. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Just you wait. If you can see what's in my head, you would probably go insane. But there's some pretty cool pictures in there. So stay tuned for the next episode of Nips Plays Hardcore. <laughs> And, um, yeah, join me on Twitch as we, um, yeah, yeah, keep digging out more and more and more of this, well, really, really, really big, big hole in the ocean. I will see you guys all down at Twitch and over on the next episode. See you guys.